Everybody to the Dining with Nadeva show. Hello, I am Diva. your host, Nadeva. And I'm Tracy. And I'm Tasha. Hello, hello. And we are TNT. TNT. Welcome, everybody. It's so blessed to be. I'm so blessed to be here today. Yes, yeah, feeling good. <gasps> yes, I'm feeling I'm feeling amazing today. I'm feeling so good today. Well, you should. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You guys look amazing. I love that shirt. Mm-hmm. I love of course. Too. Oh, you know, like- I love a good, I love a good shoulder pop. Gotta pop that shoulder now. Gotta pop that shoulder. So we got a good, good, good program for you today. Just make sure before we get into it, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and also share, 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 share. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We got a lot of stuff going on and a lot of things and good juicy topics to discuss with y'all. And so make sure y'all share this. Anyway, today's topic we're gonna we're gonna be covering is can a friendship remain platonic? When there is a one-sided physical attraction. Let me repeat that one more again. One more again. One more again. One more again. Can a friendship remain platonic when there is a one-sided physical attraction? <sighs> I'm going to hold on to that. Okay. Before we get into that, though, we have a very, very, very uh, uh, d- 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 just delicious, I can just smell it from out, from out the studio. I can't wait. Uh, we got a featured restaurant today from Father and Son Seafood, located at 710 Tenafly Road in Englewood, New Jersey. Um, I've known them for, oh my God, years now, and Khalid, who happens to be the owner with his father, opened up this business a few years ago, I believe. And um, their sandwiches, fish sandwiches, are amazing. Everything is always Catfish so fresh. Catfish is amazing. Catfish is, it. yes. That's your favorite, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. That's my favorite. They make some delicious stuff. And they also have cakes and desserts. Okay. So, you so know, if you want a little something sweet, come on. And now. the holidays yeah. are coming. We, we all want, want cake. to just fall asleep. <laughs> get the, get the <laughs> itis. My mind don't want the cake, yeah. but yes. Yeah, but my palate my says palate something says else. My palate says bring it on. Give me all the sugar. Yes. Uh, <sighs> So yeah, they they are they've been around for for a minute now. So I just wanted to just take an opportunity to just feature them on the show. Okay. You know, and today what we're going to be having is salmon and shrimp sautéed with yellow rice and a vegetable medley. They've also prepared a catfish taco. Oh, okay. I've never had a catfish taco. No. I've had a shrimp taco. I've had a I've catfish had, taco. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I've had, yeah. I've never They're had very a taco. good. Very really? Good. Yeah. Yes. Well, especially if you like catfish. I love catfish. Yeah. That's my so favorite. you're going to so love that's it. That's the fish that I would like you're in my taco. It. Okay. Well, You've you never know. had a fish taco or catfish no, taco? No, I've had a catfish. T- I mean, I've had a fish taco. I've never had a catfish, catfish taco. Okay. Because okay. okay. I don't think. Well, whatever. I definitely didn't have a catfish taco. Oh, so well, I'm then you're in for a treat, too. Then. Yeah, yeah. I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. And they also brought some desserts. They brought us two pa- two cakes. So we have a chocolate cake and a red vanilla. A red vanilla? Yeah. I mean, a red, red velvet. velvet. There you go. There we red go. Red velvet. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a, a good velvet. idea. Somebody should try, should try yeah. that. Should try that recipe. Let us know a red if you vanilla make that. cake. Yeah, there you go. I just created something. Look at that. that. <laughs> See that there? Yeah. Look at God. Okay. Patent that. Patent that. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, are y'all hungry? I'm hungry. Always. Yes, Every time hungry. I sit in this yeah. chair, I'm hungry. Okay. okay. Good. I'm, I'm ready. starving. So let's get ready to eat. Let us get. Here comes our little trusty friend, Uh-oh. Mr. Kasim. Kasim, Kasim. He is Thank the man you. of the hour with the power. Yes. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. This looks delicious and it mm. smells amazing. Thank you so much, Kasim. Mm. We'll also take the cake as well, Kasim, so you don't have to make two trips. Oh my God, this looks absolutely delicious. I wish you guys could just smell it. I, yeah, like there was the smell a vision. Yeah, <laughs> because it looks really, really good. Um, mm, so what we have here, well, I'll wait till Kasim brings all this stuff in, but this is just, oh, wow. thank goodness. Okay. I feel like we at Thanksgiving. All right, now. All right. We about to give thanks yes. right yes. now. Yeah. Yes, do it. Holly. Thank you. So we have the shrimp. We have the yellow rice. Yes. We have the salmon, and we have the catfish taco. I'm gonna start with my catfish taco. taco. I think so too. Somebody say great. 
Dear Lord, we're thankful for this food we're about to receive. Let it nourish and strengthen our bodies for Christ's sake in his holy name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Give Uh thanks. So let's see. Uh It's kind of messy, you know. That's okay. And be careful of your wipe. Okay. All righty. Definitely need a napkin. Very flavorful. I taste the onion. Has a kick. Has, has a, a nice kick. Oh, yeah, kick. he did put a little, a uh, little, um. Has a nice mm-hmm. kick. What's that, Pinko de Gallo? Uh, um, Pinko de Gallo? Yeah, something on that. He said a little, 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 little ting of spice. Mm-hmm. But Some not sort of that. aioli, too. Mm-hmm. And then you Nay, have. Hey, this is good. I didn't know he sold um, fish tacos. Yeah, this is something I think that that's new on his. On the um, menu? Yeah. Okay. And that's a wonderful thing about Khalid is that. He loves to, you know, explore and do new things, you know, to get some people in and everything. And this, I think he has a hit with these tacos. Well, I didn't even taste it yet, but from your expressions. The tacos are a definite hit. And I'm so happy that he's right down the street from my house. Mm-hmm. Fish right ta- down the street. Friday fish tacos. Mm-hmm. There you go. There we go. Or, ta- or Taco Tuesday like we used to do. Yeah, Taco Tuesday. Taco mm-hmm. Tuesday. And those people that celebrate Lent, come on now. Right. Go right on down there on your Friday. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, but could, hold on now, y'all. What happened? Did anyone taste the cake? Because I'm not. Not yet. I want to taste the, because the savory. I, did anyone taste the salmon mm. yet? I didn't get no string beans. I'm so sorry. Would you like some of mine? Can I just have a one? Sure you can, Nadia. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and try. I just put like a one. Have a bean. How did that happen? Oh, 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 oh Lord Jesus. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Thank you, sir. Mmm. I don't know how that happened, but anyway. We really try not to smack on this show, but I mean, come on. It's really hard. I know I promised not oh to go mmm again. I'm squirting. <laughs> Nadia? I heard it. Lord <laughs> Jesus. Did you hear it? <laughs> You rewind it. Man, hear that. Rewind it back right quick. Mm-hmm. That's going to be another topic. No, no, no. They, 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 that's going to be a the table topic. They didn't hear it. They, they just hear, hear it. it. Mm-hmm. They listening to the smack. That's all they listen to. It's so <laughs> delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so let me get into this. Fifth taco. Let me take a bite. Okay, hold on now. Hold on. Drum roll, please. Mm-hmm. Pow! Yeah. It's kind of messy, but mm-hmm. it's so delicious. Whoa. Thank goodness for these napkins. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Mm-hmm. And Tasha, I'm think? glad you got them big because we mm-hmm. needed them. Mm-hmm. I know how we do. Yeah? Lord. This is it's good. Like, I love the kick. Make it's you want to like, smack your mama? It was like, Lord, Lord, Lord. No, because her mama Lord, slap her back. Because her mama slap her back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. What'd your mama say? Say hello to Jesus for me. Say hello to Jesus for me. Come on, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my gosh. this is, And I can taste the little hints of spice, mm-hmm. which is delicious with yeah, it. Yeah, it's really yeah. good. Mm. The red cabbage is really delicious, too. Season, season perfectly. Right, and it's not too salty. Mm-hmm. So, you know, mm. for, uh, for, for, for us that shouldn't have too much salt mm-hmm. over here. Well, well, probably none of us should have too much salt. But I get what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? As I said, let me just swallow my food. The name of this restaurant is Father and Son Seafood. Mm-hmm. They're located at 7 Ton of, Ton of Fly Road in Inglewood. They're also on Instagram, so you can follow them on Instagram and Facebook at Father and Son Seafood. Their telephone number is 201-408-5949. Tell them TNT sent you. Mm-hmm. Yes. From the Dining with Nick Diva show. Yes. You will not be disappointed. No, you will not. We're going to sit here and finish and we our food. Fi- oh, wait. We got to taste the cake. Oh. Hold on one minute. There's room for that? Yeah. I'm, I'm still eating my taco. Hold on. We just got to taste it. Let the viewers know what okay. they're tasting like we're gonna now. We're going to taste it. Come on now, somebody. But I'm Hold stuck on. over here. I, really, I know. Just one I really want to eat my food. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. All right. Here we go. This I'm is really in. a teaser. I'm going in with the chocolate. The chocolate. Red velvet. Red it's vanilla. One of my favorites. Mm. I love red vanilla. Red vanilla. I can't talk today. <laughs> What's wrong with me? That's how I go. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Oh my mm. gosh, it's so moist. Mm-hmm. 
It's very, very good. good. Yeah, in my brain, Tracy. All right, Khalid, you did the darn thing. You did. Mm-hmm. You, you really did. did. Mm, very, very moist. Very delicious. Very, very creamy. Rich. Very, very rich. Chocolate's very rich, very moist. For sure. Absolutely. I'm not going to eat more like this. Cause, mm-hmm. Get my cake ready. To, I'll be over tomorrow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Check them out. Father and Son Seafood, Englewood, New Jersey. Tell them TNT she sent, sent you, you from the Dining with Nadine Show. show. Mm-hmm. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Lord. That was, that was so good. Is that chilling? Oh, very, it was for me. Re- yeah, ready just, to lay down just and the go one to sleep. taco right. was really good. And an order probably comes with at least two. Right. I need to take that and just put that in a bottle. Yeah, yeah honey. Yeah, that was really that was good. Just absolutely delicious. So delicious. That was it. so delicious. That was good. But you know what? Moving right along, we got a good juicy old topic for the folks today. And I think we've all experienced this kind of yeah, I, the I was, table, I'm right? curious to hear what your experiences are. I'm oh, sure you have well, one. We're going to get into it. So Yeah, I've been on both sides of it. Okay. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about can a friendship remain platonic when there is a one-sided physical attraction. Now, broken down, because I actually did some research, and, I, and um, someone had put, and this was from a man. Um, he said, can men be authentic friends? This is just another way of saying it. Can men be authentic friends with women they want to sleep it, sleep with? but haven't and won't because those women don't seem interested in sleeping with them. It's just another way of putting it. Mm-hmm. From, a, for, for the from a man's right, perspective. From a man's exactly, perspective. exactly. And it was kind of clever of what he you know, was saying about it. But, I mean, I guess uh, if you have a mature man mm-hmm. that honors a woman and honors her and, and her friendship mm-hmm. will not cross that line. But then you have those immature brothers mm-hmm. that are like, oh, wait a minute. Maybe I'll wait till she she has a one, a moment of weakness. Miss. Yeah, when one, she's one vulnerable. drink too many. One drink too many. Mm-hmm. You know, when she when she's a little she, bit sleepy or right. or you know when or, she's broken or, up with or, her bow. When, 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 when she's vulnerable. When she's vulnerable. When she's you know. So I mean, it is. What do y'all think about it though? Like from y'all from y'all end. I think. And I also think it's dynamics, too, of the friendship. Right, depending on, like, what's your arena. Like, is, is the friendship at work? You know, because I had that, too. It, w- it was a work friendship, and it was a woman. And I just realized that she kept bringing me gifts. You know, like, every morning she would bring me a sandwich for, for breakfast or... Um, so it was gestures. It was, yeah, it was small gestures, and they was coming starting to come regularly Mm -hmm. and then she went away to england and she brought me back this beautiful bag and it's 20 years ago and i still have this bag right so the bag was really really nice Mm -hmm. and we were supposed to go on a conference and to vegas and we had to you know the women had the room together and the men because you know whatever so i realized because i'm in her department it's gonna be me and her Mm. well that wasn't uncomfortable at all not at all so (laughs) I you knew by then. There I knew was by then suspicious. that there was that she had an attraction. You know when someone's attracted yeah. to you. Usually. So, I said, you know what? Time for a conversation because before I get on this plane and be in this room with this woman who I know ha- has an attraction, we need to have a conversation. Mm-hmm. First of all, I was in a relationship, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So you have to respect my relationship. Number one. Right. Number two. Um, not gay. Right. Um. And there's the, that. Yeah, right, there's that. There's a big that. And, and, and <laughs> right. that's important. Right. So, right. And, an so, important factor in but a particular I, but scenario. But also still flattered. Right. right. Still flattered. So I had a conversation with her at lunch. And, you know, I sat down and said, listen, I understand that you, you know, I'm feeling like you have an attraction to me. And I just want to put it out on the table because I don't want to be in a situation when we get to this trip because yeah. we're going to be rooming together and I just want you to respect, you know, how I feel. And she was like, definitely, no no, no problem. I would have never, if you didn't say anything, I would have never said anything. I would have never stepped up, but I am attracted to you. I do like you. I admire you. A whole bunch of stuff. We get to Vegas. It's the first day. She flipped the script. <sighs> so I had a migraine getting off the plane because – it was really hot and the weather changed. Mm-hmm. So I said to her, I'm going to lay down. You go find the rest of the crew or whatever you're going to do. Mm-hmm. And by the time it, the dinner starts, I will, you know, probably, hopefully feel better and whatever. She comes back to the room. I'm laying in the bed. It's a king size bed. 
It's I'm, one bed? It's one. She went, She did the room, too, by the way. Okay, so y'all were staying in the same room with one bed. And a pull-out sofa. Okay. So I could have got the sofa, but she wasn't in the room, so I laid so in the bed. So you laid in the bed. Right, okay. I had a headache, so I laid in the bed. And the next thing you know, I feel the bed, like, you know, how Dip. when somebody's when getting in the bed. When it dips down. And so I'm not, you know, I'm not... Press. I'll lay in the bed with you. I'll lay in the bed with you. We, you like whatever. Like girlfriends. Like girlfriends. girlfriends. Like a sleepover. Right. We've yeah. done that before. Right. Mm-hmm. So I didn't like jump up and like, what are you doing? I just laid it because my head was still still killing me. And the next thing you know, uh oh, her leg. Flew she over put her me. hand up on your hip. No, she did. You leg, did. We did. She did her a straddle. Oh. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. Say what? She straddled you. She straddled me. Oh God. Lord uh-huh. of mercy. I lost it. That was it. That was it. Separate rooms after that. Yes, separate of rooms after that, yeah. and it was a big deal. Because not only is it so now, but let's just go back for a second. Let's let's say if she was a male, okay. Let's mm-hmm. just say she was a male, already knowing that she had feelings for you, right? If he, if it was a man, and he expressed those same feelings. Do you think if you went on that trip, you would have booked a room with that man with but one it bed? Was, it was a work thing, so it wouldn't have. I wouldn't Probably, have. Yeah, okay. Right, so that that's different because because. Me not being gay or a lesbian, thinking that we could still be mm-hmm. in the same room mm-hmm. and maintain that maintain that platonic. and and mm-hmm. it's just a work trip. Even it's after you know that she has expressed, it. but I sat with but her. she also said that she, that she was going to respect, she was gonna respect her, her wishes and she was going to respect right, the so fact I, that it wasn't reciprocal. Exactly, and again, we're at work. Right. This is a this yeah, is she a had business. no business doing that anyway. Right, this is a business trip. Right. Yeah. But I mean, I I get it. I agree with you. I feel like, you know, you can't control somebody else's emotions nor feelings towards you, right? right? But I feel as though if you have that conversation and you put your expectations down, right? Right. And you know, okay, well, I'm flattered. Mm-hmm. However, this is how I feel. Right. I, I'm not attracted to you. I don't see. But I really, really, I'm loyal to this friendship. Mm-hmm. Um, we have other things in common. But just that romantic thing. I feel once you've had that conversation, and you put you, that out there, you put that out there. Yeah. Then you, they have the option mm-hmm. to say, you know what? Then I can't be around you. This may be a little bit too much. Mm-hmm. Or you know what? I honor you and our friendship more than then my, my desire exactly. to want to, yeah. or my lust, well, my or lust whatever you want to call it. I think it's lust. It is lust. When or it infatuation. There's so many different things you could call it. Could, it, I, it, it could be genuine. Let Love and that. care too, depending be. on the length of the relationship, the, the friendship, and right. how you know how long you've known each other. It could be genuine, but ultimately it comes down to I've laid out my boundaries. Like and do you, you said, respect me? You either respect those boundaries, and we can continue to let this friendship flourish, right. or it's too much for you, and we need to part ways. Right. When you because see them, when you don't do that, right, it becomes uncomfortable for both people. Mm-hmm. Very uncomfortable. Absolutely. So what about you, Tasha? I've been on both both sides of it. Yeah, I've been on both sides. I've I've had crushes on, well, I've I had a crush on a male friend that I thought was reciprocal. Okay, and he told me during a game of truth or dare in front of (laughs) in front of another friend Mm. that, but this was back in college that uh that he was like he was like oh wow I'm I'm sorry you feel that actually I didn't tell him the friend the mutual friend asked him because the mutual friend and I were debating back and forth earlier that day okay whether or not it was reciprocal and and the mutual friend was like oh yeah he's definitely feeling you he's definitely feeling you right. so the friend knew but you didn't no no no, no the she friend thought assumed that he did his uh, it was a it was a guy okay. our mutual friend is a guy and okay. the and the guy was like yeah, yeah yeah oh no he's definitely feeling you and I was like yeah okay so it's not just me he was like no it's not just you oh so in the truth or dare the the mutual friend asked him about about if, it if there and, was put him on blast. and put him on blast and he was like I don't feel that way about you I'm sorry and I was like but you was for sure we were. All of everyone Everybody in our circle that. was for sure. So one was he in a relationship? No, he was okay. single. So what was it he that he single. did that made you feel like he? So he came to my my dorm room every night. Every night mm-hmm. we hung out. Every night we because in at at um at at Fordham back then the dorms were apartments. So every night he came down, we had dinner together. Whenever we went outside of campus, he would come and get me to take walks to the store. Like, he was just spending time with me. He was always spending time with me. Is that your love language? 
time. Spending time. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. 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 So maybe that's and, why she read into it that way. And and too. he was doing that. And then like he would he would throw shade if another dude Guy. was trying to holler. Like, yeah. Like okay. on some old like oh, block. No, I'm just trying to protect you. Yeah, he like was block straight you. blocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we so, were all like, of course he feels the same way. And he was like, Yeah, actually, no, I don't. Ooh. And I was like, Oh, Oh no! Was your feelings hurt? My, I was devastated. Yeah. Was his perspective like more like brother and sister kind of a his friendship? his perspective was I think you're mad cool I th- I think you're an attractive person but I'm not attracted to you. Okay. Okay. And I was like okay. And what what happened to the friendship after he that? He fell off. I was willing to continue to be friends with him. And he was afraid? But he was, I think I made him uncomfortable. That's what I was saying. Okay. Was it uncomfortable? I, I think I made him uncomfortable. Okay. I, and I think the Because he knew? That, I, well, one, he knew. And two, everyone else knew. No, right. It wasn't a secret. Was he right. in a situation? No, he was single as, as. So he was available? He was available. Was he gay? No, he's straight. Okay. You sure? Just, just trying no, to find sure. out all of the, uh, you know. You know, you listen, never know. Some, sometimes, sometimes you're, you're not really someone's not cup of tea. Yeah. 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 He said he thought I wasn't attractive. Woman, woman he just wasn't not, attracted, not attracted. To, and I've been in situations like that where I've had friends who have said to me you know I think I'm in love with you and I'm like mm, wait, think what? I'm in love <laughs> that, again yeah that, that happened a couple mm, of times right. and again uh, I thought they were attractive people but I was not physically attracted to them. Right. So I got it. Yeah. Right. It still but hurt my feelings. Right. Right. <laughs> of course. Right. It still it's made me. It still made me feel like a, a loser. Like, right. oh man. Because he yeah. was showing you some signs. Because he was. And, and he I was felt that it was appropriate attention. time. When he was giving me attention, and even all of our friends were like, "Stop playing." He was like, "No, nah, why? why? Why we just can't be friends?" And I was like, "No, no, no, we, we can just be friends." I hate you. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Like, I, I secretly, really hate, I hate you. you. I secretly mm. love you. Right. But no, I was willing to continue the friendship, but he he, he was off. uncomfortable, so he fell off. And when the roles were reversed and I was the recipient of the affection, um, I tried to, I, and I, I don't know if that's a woman thing or not, but I tried to keep the friendship alive. Right. And when I saw that it was it was too much. It was too much for the person. For the person. Right. Then I, I fell off. Then I fell off. Then you fell off. I, I fell back. Right. But I never wanted the friendship to end. I did it out of respect for them because I felt like maybe, maybe it was too much for, for them. them. Yeah, so I, I like. I don't mind. I mean, uh, I always find it flattering when someone says that they have an affection, affection for right. you. And I've had a woman do that to me too. I, I had a really persistent woman. Right. So did I. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yes, you did. but you know, you did. I've, you know, I've, I've played also both, both, both spec- 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 sides of the spectrum. Spectrum. Exactly. I mean, um, I think I, I'm, I'm on the fence with this one dude right now because I've expressed, look, we just friends, ain't no nothing, you know. So he's he he understands, mm-hmm. okay, and he is definitely very respectful. But as I said, um, I don't like any uncomfortable moments, mm. you know, and sometimes like. When you have a man who's physically attracted and you want to have just like conversations I would have with you, like, right. oh my God, you see that man over here? You know, I, I wouldn't do that with a man, but I'm just saying, but just have regular conversation. conversation. Right. They tend to be wall up. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. I can't get with you there. I can't get with you there. Right. You know, um, it's very difficult for them to even see you take another call from a gentleman caller. You mm. know, like it's, it's uncomfortable moments right. like that. But and you find yourself censoring. Yeah, yourself. and I don't want to yeah. have to do that. You with don't want to have to edit what you say. Exactly. Yeah, so that. do you limit the amount of time that you spend with people like that that you, that yes. that you know has an attraction to you and you don't feel the same? Well, I feel like you have to. Well, yeah. that's what I was talking about as far as dynamics. It depends on the dynamic of a relationship or, or the friendship. Like if I know that someone had a physical attraction or a physical desire, or whatever it is. I'm I'm not gonna hang out with them every day. Right. You know, you I'm not gonna be doing like daily stuff, like, you know, I'm not gonna do that. It would be like, you know, we'll hang out once a month, catch a movie or whatever, and keep it moving. Right. But I, I, I know I couldn't. Okay. If the if the shoe was on the other foot, if I'm physically attracted Practice to a guy yeah. and he wanna be up underneath me all day, every day and hang out and chill. Boom. You don't think you could respect the the, the I can person's... respect it, I can but respect I, it. my feelings wouldn't be able to handle it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, especially if I was a tr- if if I was attracted and had an interest, right? Mm-hmm. And we were spending time together because my hard. love language is spending time. Yeah, no, no, so, it's hard. It's definitely hard to do that. Yeah, I wouldn't mm-hmm. be able to do that. Well, I mean, this was a great, great topic. Yeah. For today, 
And of course, you know, I always have a scripture that goes along with this. Oh, good. Scripture Enlighten time. Us. Scripture time. Feed our oh. soul. Always. Scripture time. God's got a plan for everything in Absolutely. every aspect of your life. He mm-hmm. is there. Mm-hmm. Seek him. That's right. Yes. And we all know we always got to walk in love. Mm-hmm. You know, no matter yeah. what the circumstances or the situation, always walk in love. If somebody has a crush, talk to them in love. Right. You know? Well, here, here's my question before mm-hmm. you get into the scripture portion mm-hmm. of it. What do you do if, if they cross a line? Right. That's an interesting how, topic. How, how, what, how do you react if they cross a line? Depends on what line they cross. And um, what if they touch you inappropriately? I mean, you know. Yeah, what if they t- touch you inappropriately? Like, hug you in a way that you know is more, is not just a friendship. It's something hug. more than you're comfortable with. Right, yeah, if you feel uncomfortable with the hug, you know. Smack him in the face. Oh, oh, oh. you going there? <laughs> okay, well, he is your friend, so I mean, you know. You if he's my be friend, to... he should know better. Right. But if he's my friend, he should know how I am. No, but see, he has a feeling. He has this feeling. And look, look, look. My mother told me this. It's a fact that you have feelings, but your feeling ain't a fact. Okay. Oh. Okay, Mama Gaddy. All right. All right. Mama Gaddy talking. Mama Gaddy. Now, she right. told me that. She... Everybody got feelings. Don't make it a fact. No. I appreciate your feelings, you know, but it ain't factual for me. For you. Right. For me. So if you come out the gate doing, I mean, like, if we've had this conversation, you, we, and I can actually call you my friend, that means you know me somehow. They can't be throwing their leg you over you, straddling all that you're gonna have They to can't expect, be straddling you honey, in some hotel room. <laughs> you going to have to expect the diva response. Okay. Got it. Right? Well. Got it. Fair so, well. with that being said, let's get up into Romans. Romans. <laughs> Let's do it. Cheers. <laughs> Today's scripture is from Romans 12, 10 through 11. And it reads, be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Mm-hmm. So if you're just devoted to one another and walk in love and respect and honor one another, then you can work it out. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it takes a person to say, you know what? Maybe it's too this, much. this is too much for me and I need to bow out gracefully. Bow out. Or, and sometimes they come back. And sometimes they do come back. Sometimes, sometimes married back. and say, hey, now I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm real good. I got my boo. So now we can hang. You right. Go. You know? So right. it just all depends. I don't know if the boo would be okay with that though. Well, sometimes maybe just the lack of having you in their life is enough for them to be able to put things in perspective. Directive. And realize that they would rather have you in their life in a capacity that's comfortable for all of you, right? Than, than to, to not, not have, have you, you at all because they're in their feelings about not being able to have you completely, right? And that's gonna be. I just had another topic in my head. That's a good. That's a good. The next topic I think is, um, what do you do when you're in a relationship and you have a friend that your spouse knows is physically attracted to you? Lord mm. of mercy. You went too far. I'm just saying. Now you went too far. But I'm just saying. I understand. It happens. It's happening. It right? happens. But right? it's, ooh, well, it's that's a just, very that's just great me, area. No, no, no. That just gave me an idea. That's all I was saying. All right. <laughs> Holla, though. If this has happened to you or if you know someone that comment, make sure y'all like and subscribe. Comment, though. Definitely. Comment. I want to hear the comments. I want to hear other people's stories, too. I'm yes. curious. And I would love to hear from a male perspective because you yes. get three you get three female perspectives here every week. But I want to hear what the fellas yes. have to say about some, it. Y'all. Give us some. Give us some information. Tell us how you feel. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but not feel. Um, yes, definitely <laughs> comment. If there are couples out there that are, you know... That started off platonic and wound up married. Let us know about yeah, that too. Yeah, how did that work out? Hey. Okay, so we got we got somebody right hey, here. We need to see Alex out of we the story. Yeah. You we, do not. We like to have okay. him on the show. <laughs> <laughs> do a little interview. Bring, bring bring him on. Okay. Bring him on. That's that that could that, we can make I, that happen. I can, I can arrange right. that. That could be very interesting. Sounds good. Oh Lord of mercy. So what what think? Today today was a good day. I love ready this topic. Yes, I did. Too. Yeah, we ready. Are you ready? Yeah, we mm-hmm. ready. I think the world is ready. <laughs> Tasha and Alex. Well. Alejandro. Have to have a little conversation There's with him before we put a camera Stop conversing, him. girl. Okay. Stop okay. conversing. <laughs> I think the people going to want to know what's going on in our world over there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, y'all. Well, thank y'all for thank coming for and hanging coming. out with us tonight. Thank you, ladies. Y'all are always a pleasure always. to just chill. I mean, always. this is our out every day. This is our everyday round table. We just sharing it with the world. Yep. Amen. Just letting you, just yep. letting you in. That's right. That's all. Sneak peek of what, what happens at the table. Yeah. Well... In the interim. Until the next time, remember, 
Stay, Stay divine. divine. Bye. 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 Thank you once again for tuning in to the Dining with Nadiva show, a TNT production. Make sure to check us out on all the audio platforms like Spotify, Apple, Amazon, TuneIn, and of course, we have our own Roku channel. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.